Greetings, Gophers. So I'm a Go Modules fan, but when you're working outside the Go path, working on dependencies can be a pain. Not so much with Go Hack, and I just wanted to show you a workflow that I just played around with this morning. So here I have something that depends on this thing here, env, which is which is failing. Okay. So now I want to work on this env and try to debug it. So go hack is what I used and it seems to appears to work. It clones it down into the go hack directory. Okay, fine. So I'm in go hack. Okay, so there's a problem here. And just to get things rolling, this is one that I know that is good. And let's just start it. Uh, and that's the workflow, just do go test. This is fail, so that one's bad. Bad, sorry. I'm always go test. That one's bad. It's bad too, that's definitely bad. Go test, that one's bad. Go test, oh, that one's okay. That one's bad. Okay, so this is the first thing when things go wrong. Okay, whatever. I mean, that that's good that I've managed to bisect the dependency, figure out where things went wrong. Furthermore, I can actually, um, I say launch TIG here, and I can perhaps choose the, uh, lock onto the module where I know it was, um, but you know, successfully passing. So how to do that? I go 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 hack undo. So as you can see, the go mod is just pointing to the latest one, but I just wanted to pit it at the one I know that works. And the way you do that is go get yeah CC4. That one works. Yeah, and then I check my go mod. Yep. It's pitted at that particular revision, which I know works. And then I can just go, go test to make sure. And then push. Yeah, I mean, this, this is actually testing for an error. So it did pass. So yeah, go hack enables me to work on dependencies, you know, with, with the bisect and the whole module ecosystem, it's really powerful and it's really nice. Don't you think? I'm recording that for future prosperity. If you know better, please let me know. Please like the video, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.